Hey, Tony here. I'm sitting outside uh, out in my backyard this morning, and uh, the reason that I'm doing that is because, uh, well, the weather is beautiful, and I want to share with you um, hickory nuts. Hickory nuts are uh, in the same family as pecans. These are shagbark hickory, which are the best tasting ones. This is what they look like in the husk. And when the husk has clear division lines on it, and when they start to split open, uh, the nut is ripe and they'll drop to the ground. Um, now, what I like to do when I'm processing them is do what's called the float test. Uh, simply get a pan of water, pour the nuts in there, and the nuts that aren't good will float, and that's because they have an air pocket in there uh, caused by fungus or uh, grubs, that kind of stuff. And you just take those out and put them off to the side. You're not going to use those. You're going to use the ones that are down at the bottom. Now, I've got some here that, that are already cracked. And when they're cracked and they come out, they look like this. And uh, if you get a whole piece, it looks very much like a pecan. But, you know, they're in the same family. So, uh, you can get regular nut cracking kits with picks in them but i found that an old steak knife works pretty good because the blade is somewhat flexible and you can get down into those crevices to get that out but i do recommend a pair of a good strong pair of nutcrackers uh, i prefer these because it's got a wider handle and some of the nuts are, I'll be honest with you, a little hard to crack open, but it's well worth it. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that you can do with them. Um, you can put them in brownies. You can do all kinds of baking with them. You can put them in stew. You can put them on hot or cold cereal and mix that in. You can make uh, granola bars or uh, trail mix and, and put them in there. So it's really just limited to your imagination. So shag bar hickory, delicious found throughout the Midwest and while I have you on here I want to also remind you that uh, if you're seeing me on Facebook go over and check out Midwest Wild Edibles on YouTube there's a lot of uh, back videos uh, that you may not have seen yet and uh, that kind of thing remember to like that uh, and subscribe it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to YouTube so Midwest Wild Edibles on YouTube and while you're at YouTube, uh, check out Tony Star Music on YouTube. Like that also, subscribe to that, and you'll catch new videos and stuff like that. So, thanks much. Have a beautiful day.